Yes, what to do if you lose your QID while traveling? Remember, when we are talking about a residence uh, visa or what you call a residence permit or residence QID, it is already you must be aware of the importance of carrying what you call your residence permit, especially if you are living in Qatar. For those that are living in the country or for those that are working in the country, you definitely know the importance of having it for your safety all the time. But we look at two situations. One, there are a situation whereby you, you may what you may need what you call a return visa on arrival at Ahmad International Airport. Remember, if you've been outside Qatar and you've not exceeded what we call six months stay outside the country, and you 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 have what you call you need you have what you call a return you will get a return visa on arrival at the airport directly. Then that means you can get you can be permitted to enter into the country if the return visa. On arrival is at Al Hamad Airport. You can be permitted to come into the country, but remember your QID lost while traveling will be marked as lost in the system, and you'll have to pay up Qatar Real 200 for you to get a process of the new residence uh, residence QID. In this situation. If your visa, you are getting direct to your visa on arrival at Ahmad International, your return visa on a, at Ahmad International Airport on arrival, you don't need to stick to your sponsor to give you an entry permit. It will be done there and there. But remember, your QID will be marked as lost. Then, if you need what you call a return visa to be processed by your employer, this is a different situation. If your employer is the one to process for you a return visa when you lost your QID while traveling, let's say for example you lost this as you are in what we call a transit. In this case, if you've not exceeded what we call the six months that are permitted to stay outside the Qatar. It means that your sponsor will have to obtain for you what you call a return visa or will have to give you a process for you what you call a return permit for you to come into the country. But still remember, in the same situation also, your QID will be marked as what you call lost, meaning that you'll have to pay up an extra fee of 200 for you to process up a new QID in that case.